bond length bond length is defined as the equilibrium distance between the centers of nuclei of two bonded atoms in a molecule okay it is defined as the equilibrium distance between the centers of a nuclei of two bonded atoms in a molecule. This bond length can be measured in different ways that is x-ray diffraction method then spectroscopic method electron diffraction method all these methods can be used to find the bond length okay this uh, bond length can be expressed in two ways that is angstrom unit it can be expressed as angstrom unit or picometer pm One Armstrong will be equal to 10 is to minus 10 meter and one picometer is equal to 10 is to minus 12 meter. So bond length can be expressed either in Armstrong unit or in picometer. Okay. Now bond length depends upon two factors. First one is bond multiplicity and second one is size of the atom. Okay. First one bond multiplicity. Example, in C single bond C, the bond length is found to be 154 pm In C double bond C, bond length is 133 pm Okay. Then C triple bond C, bond length is found to be 120 pm so from this we can see that as the bond multiplicity increases, bond length decreases. Okay. Bond multiplicity increases, bond length decreases. Second factor is size of the atom so as the size of the atom increases bond length also increases bond length increases then case of uh, covalent homonuclear diatomic molecules in such molecules covalent radii is half the bond length okay covalent radii is half the bond length So, bond length of such molecules will be the sum of the covalent radii of the two bonded atoms. Okay. Bond length will be sum of the covalent radii of two bonded atoms. Bond enthalpy. Bond enthalpy is defined as the energy required to break one mole of bonds of a particular type between two atoms of gaseous state. Okay. So, bond enthalpy, it is defined as the energy required. To 
break one mole of bonds okay of a particular type of a particular type between two atoms in a gaseous state okay between two atoms or two bonded atoms okay between two bonded atoms in a gaseous state okay so it is defined as energy required to break one mole of bonds of a particular type between two bonded atoms in a gaseous state okay now the unit unit of bond enthalpy is kilojoule molecules let us take examples in the case of h2 gas dissociates and form hydrogen atoms okay here bond enthalpy delta h will be equal to 435.8 kilojoule molecules okay in the case of oxygen atom o double bond o gas gets converted into oxygen atoms okay here the bond enthalpy is found to be 498 kilojoule mole inverse okay next in the case of n triple bond n gets converted into nitrogen atoms okay here the bond enthalpy is very high which is found to be 946 kilojoule mole inverse so from this we can find that larger the bond dissociation energy stronger will be the bond okay so down the down nine triple bond and has very high bond dissociation energy so it is stronger than the other two so larger the bond dissociation energy stronger will be the bond okay next in heteronuclear diatomic molecules heteronuclear diatomic molecules what will be the bond enthalpy first example hcl gets converted into hydrogen atom and cl okay here the bond dissociation energy is found to be 431 kilojoule mole inverse okay now next in case of polyatomic molecules polyatomic molecules take example h2 h2 like this here we can see that two types of bonds we have to consider because the environment of the first bond here if we take this bond then environment is different so after the breakage of this bond then only oh bond is present that environment is different so environment of both the oh bonds are different okay so the bond dissociation energy of the two bonds are different okay so first let us take example h2o first dissociate into h atom and oh bond is there okay here this bond dissociation energy is found to be 502 kilojoule mole inverse okay next this oh bond then breaks and form oxygen gas o oxygen atom and hydrogen atom here the bond dissociation energy is equal to 427 kJ/mol so there is a difference between these two 
bonds okay the bond dissociation energy of these two are different so in such cases we have to take the average bond enthalpy average bond enthalpy okay that is equal to 502 plus 427 by 2 this will be the case 464.5 kilojoule molecules this will be the bond bond enthalpy so we have to take the average of these two bond and bond enthalpies okay another example is c2h5oh in this case also we have to do the same okay we have to take the average bond enthalpy bond order in lewis description Bond order is the number of bonds between two bonded atoms in a molecule. Okay. Bond order is the number of bonds between two bonded atoms. In a molecule. Take few examples H2, O2, N2, H2. Bond order is 1. Then N2 bond order is 3. O2 bond order is 2. Okay. Here double bond, triple bond, single bond. So depending upon this, the number of bond order will be the number of bonds between two atoms in a molecule. What will happen in the case of isoelectronic species? In the case of isoelectronic species are compounds containing same number of electrons. In such cases, bond order will be same. Let us take few examples. N2, CO, NO plus etc. In all these cases, bond order is 3. Okay, N triple bond, N C triple bond, N, N triple bond, O, etc. In short, we can say that as bond order increases, bond enthalpy increases or bond length decreases. Okay, bond order increases means bond enthalpy in also increases, bond become more stronger. Okay. Then what will happen to bond length? Bond length decreases. Okay. Bond angle. Bond angle is defined as the angle between the orbitals containing bonding electron pairs around the central atom in a molecule. So bond angle. is defined as the anchor between the orbitals okay anchor between the orbitals containing bonding electron pairs okay containing bonding electron pairs around the central atom okay in a molecule okay now it can be expressed in degree okay it is expressed in degree and it helps to determine the shape of the molecule okay by using this bond angle we can determine the shape of the molecule let us take an example water molecule v shape okay this is the angle between the orbitals of the two bond uh, bonding electron pairs okay so this is found to be 104.5 degree
this contains two long pairs okay like this so this helps to determine the shape of the molecule okay